so good. The physicality of the second year. It's your first night game at the Coliseum, second game at home. What are you anticipating the environment's going to be like just from the home crowd perspective? Oh, I anticipate it to be live. You know, I anticipate it to be a really, really nice experience. Last time I was there for a night game, I was, I was on the other side. So I'm, I'm really excited, you know, just to be there for all. Because I heard the night games are they're, they're lit, so I'm, I'm really excited. Mm, no, uh, what's it been like to watch the, the chemistry between Lincoln and Caleb kind of develop over the course of the season? You know, it's been really interesting. You know, they, those are two peas in a pod. They they really love each other, you know, and, and it's it's really interesting to observe and watch and to see. And I feel grateful just to even be in their presence. You know, uh, it's like sometimes they even finish each other's sentences. And like, you know, they're two of the same people, pretty much. They, they both love football. They're both super smart minded people. But, I mean, football people. Um, and they both are on the same page all the time. Does that plan on the field like we saw on Saturday where Lincoln sees the defense and judges Caleb check and gives you the. Yeah, yeah, that you know that happens all the time, and you know that we'll, we'll be in situations where I, I can't even hear the sidelines at all. But they have some kind of connection where it's like you know he gives one little whistle and he's looking over real quick, you know, and I, I'm just like, okay, like, <laughs> you know, he's over there playing Madden and stuff um, with Caleb. But uh, no, they, they're 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 really in tune with each other. When that call came in, did your eyes light up? And did you see the same thing? Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw what they were saying, um, and, uh, you know, I got really itchy. You know, I got really antsy. I wanted it, and uh, thank God for my old lineman. You know, that hole was – anybody could have ran through that. I could have walked through it. You know, yeah, it was really nice. It looked like Dieter's blasted one open. Did they actually touch you at all? No, I, I don't think – I didn't get touched at that point. After the game, uh, you had mentioned that maybe you guys got a little complacent in the second half. How does that happen in game two when you guys are still trying to you know, build on that culture and, as the coach said, trust? You know, it's it's handling success. That's all that, that was. Um, we had a lot of success in the first half, and we didn't handle it well in the second half. We thought that we had it in the bag. We thought that they were just going to lay down. When well, this is college football, nobody lays down. You know, everybody's going to come with their best every single play, every single game. You know, and especially if you're on a team like USC, you're going to get their best. And it doesn't matter if you're up by 40 or, you know, if you're down by 40, you know, you, you got to just keep playing. When you're the more physical team for a stretch of a game, can you feel it or see it or even hear it in the opponents in game? Yeah, yeah, you can you can feel the energy a little bit. You know, you can you can feel that you know you're playing football really really well, and they're not playing as well, and uh, they um, they don't have as much as energy as you guys do, or something like that. You could definitely feel that. Lincoln's offense has kind of always been there's always been a really good quarterback leading it, but he's talked about how the running game is so important. To it. How have you seen his take on the running game applied it to you guys and what you guys are doing uh, on a game to game basis? Yeah, yeah, the running game is really important for this offense, um, you know, because it sets everything up. You know, if we can run the ball, if we can really get on the ground running, um, it will set up the passing game like no other, and vice versa. If we can get the ball in the air. And we can get the ball caught, you know, set up the running game. Like, you know, it, it, it both complements each other. And in terms of just plays that he's running up or whatever, I think uh, one of the guys was saying, like, sometimes he, he sees what Lincoln's run up and he's like, I didn't even know that was, that that was possible. What are some ways in which you've seen kind of that um, creativity, I guess, come through? Yeah, well, you know, um, you know, you'll just be at the line ready for a play and he'll check it to another play. And you'll be like, oh, you, you, you'll have this realization that you see or you're seeing what he's seeing. Oh, okay, like he's seeing this and this makes sense. And then it works and then it's like, oh, okay, like I understand. Like this game is getting much more, you know, easier for me to comprehend. Thank you. Thanks,